Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got you our sugar extension gel and I'm going to demo it using a paper form. This is the extension gel from you are sugar. Here's the code. I will have it linked down in the description box. It also came with some of this you are sugar slip solution and there's the code for that. Here we go. I'm going to start with the Prep and Clean from ASP. I get this from Sally's. If you don't have this, just clean your nails real thoroughly with some, you know, alcohol or, you know, some non-acetone or acetone, something that didn't have a oils in it. Then I'm going to use the ASP um, primer. And this is the acid-free primer. This is what you don't want to get on your skin. So I've got that nail all prepped. I'm going to be using this paper form which I also got from Sally's. I give it a little bend, pull the center out, and then work on getting this off the backing. You pop it open right there, and then you struggle to get it on just right, just the way you like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that I've ever used these successfully. So here we go with a, y'all this is a first. We're gonna, we're gonna get this done. So I've shortened all my nails on one hand, but on this other hand, I broke this one. There was no fixing it or patching it, so that is why we're going to try this You Are Sugar Extension Gel today. I'm trying to make sure, looking all the way down it to make sure it's right. I've got that slip solution in my little dampen dish, and I'm going to get a little bead of this gel to get started with. <clears throat> now, I am not a nail tech. I am not any sort of professional. And this is my very first go at it ever, ever at doing a nail extension like this. I've watched hundreds of videos, career nail education, nail nails. I've watched all these videos. And I'm just doing what I think I need to do. This kind of gel, you don't just brush it on. You've kind of got to dab it and push it and mush it and, <laughs> you know, get it get it on there. And it does level out somewhat, so you just, you just keep working with it. Now, I'm building the very tip, a little bit on the tip of my nail, but I'm doing the extension part on the form. Now, I've cleaned off my brush with that... Uh, slip solution checking it all out and I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds under my lamp and then I'm going to go in and get another bead of the gel if I can get some on that brush there and I'm making sure to cover that up when I'm not using it and then we're going to go in and start thickening this up <clears throat> and building it <laughs> building that tip out Kind of fill in any spots that I felt like I was lacking on the first go around. I can tell you that I really was worried about doing this video. Um, very, very concerned about it. But like I said, I like to share it all on my channel the struggles, the triumphs. And um, this one I think turned out really well. Now it doesn't look well when I pop that form off here in a little bit, you'll see. I'm curing it again for 60 seconds and now I'm going to go over the whole nail and bring that gel down over the extension I've built but also all the way up to my cuticle area. I do love that this product you can keep working with it. It doesn't cure until you cure it. You can, you've got time. You don't have to be in a rush like with acrylics. being very careful not to just get it all over the place and I'm kind of trying to brush it even though I've explained that it doesn't brush really well kind of got to do some dabbing and tapping I'm gonna break Woody out here I've got a little bit up by my cuticle that I do not want to cure because that would be poking into my cuticle and would cause a very sore spot I am going to go in with some of that slip solution in my cleanup brush. I am so sorry I'm off camera, but this is some serious business here. I was trying to very much pay attention to what I was doing. <laughs> it's 
give you kind of a look of what it looks like. I'm curing it another 60 seconds. I've got another bead on my brush and I'm just going to brush that on as well. Now this one seems to be brushing a little bit better, kind of moving around. I guess it's got something to grip to. And we're just going to try to smooth that out and you know, make it look like a nail. <laughs> I really did like this though. I was really happy that the form actually went on my finger because from what I've seen on the other videos, getting that form on there is the trickiest part. And I'm not worried about the end being jagged or janky because I know I'm going to have to do some filing, a lot of filing. Here we go. We're going to cure 60 more seconds. And now I'm going to remove the form. You just kind of pinch it from underneath. <clears throat> Oh yes, that's very hard. <laughs> so I'm going to take my little nippers and get those little straggler pieces off the end before I start um, doing my filing. I'm also going to do this little piece on the side. So there we go. That's what we got so far. Got another little piece over here. I'm going to rub it all down with some 91% alcohol and a lint-free wipe just to get some of that tacky layer off of it before I do my filing. More alcohol is needed. I'm just saturating that little wipe so that I can get it all nice and done. And it doesn't look so good right now, but here we go with some filing. I got my little uh, dust collector underneath me. But, like an idiot, I was so excited to be doing this, I had forgotten to turn it on. So, here in just a few, you know, see me reach over and turn it on. I was just so excited to get to the filing point. I was excited. I was like, oh yeah, it's looking good. I can't wait to get this buffed out. And I have sped this up. I don't work, there we go, I just turned it on. I don't, I don't work this fast. I didn't speed it up like crazy, but it was already going to be like a 10 minute video, so I, I'm trying to make it as less painful as possible. Because it's a lot of repetition with this filing. You just, you go over it and around it and on the sides and on the tip and over the top, up by the cuticle area a little bit. I have to be honest though, in the end, after I put polish on it, it looked just like my other nails. I was so impressed. So, so happy with it. And you'll get to see some manicures with um, this here tip on my nail. I think I do two or three of them with this particular one on there. But you clean it off, at least I do, I cleaned it off to kind of see what it looked like and I'm going back in for some more filing. And I don't know where this file came from. I think a friend of mine gave me a pack of these files a while back and it had a pretty rough grit to it. Not crazy or anything, but it was pretty substantial. So that's why I'm using this one today. But you're gonna wanna turn your nail around and look at it from all different angles to see where you need to do some more filing. All right, kind of looking it over. It's look, looking a lot better. Looking pretty sturdy. Now, I don't know how long this would last in long term because I didn't build up no big apex. So, we'll see. I'm going to top it with some matte top coat, which I've done off camera, and um, some more cleanup. And then I'm going to cure that matte top coat. And there we go. Here's my final results. I really did like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Not perfect, but good for a first time. So let me know what you think about this. I will leave a link for these products down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.